First of all, before this video even starts, I would like to tell you guys, if you didn't know already, that yesterday I went 9-0 undefeated at a giant hand prize card tournament, and I actually made a post on my community tab asking guys if I could get 5k likes on the post so that I would be making a deck profile on whichever deck I played. So go check it out in the community tab, smash the like button, and now let's get right into the video. So today's subject is all about the format, which card should or should not get hit if it really is necessary, and I'll try to make it as objective as possible so that my own opinion won't really be super relevant and won't be the main concern of the video. Alright, so I think most people can agree on the fact that even though Splite and Tier Laments are incredible decks, they will most likely not get a hit on the next ban list because they're way too recent and Konami still has some product to sell. If you ban Splite, then Splite Sprint will no longer really uh, rejuvenate the Splite deck, so it's going to be completely forgotten and overshadowed by everything else. And Ishizu Tier Laments is going to be a really, really powerful deck, so we still need Tier Laments around if we want the Ishizu cards to sell like crazy. Therefore, we're going to have to start looking at other cards to see if they're really going to be problematic in the months to come, or if they're just going to be kind of irrelevant. The typical general consensus that uh, we usually have in the community is that the cards that should be banned right now would be Christian Needle Fiber, Artifact Scythe, Call by the Grave, Mystic Mine, and Anti-Spell Fragrance. Needle Fiber has been around for way too long, it's always the go-to card every single time a deck has access to just summoning tuner monsters, so if you ban Needle Fiber, you can unban a lot of tuners that were banned because of it, which could actually help a lot of people out, but obviously banning Needle Fiber will also hurt a lot of decks, although you could say that at least it's going to be a breath of fresh air because we've been seeing Needle Fiber for a little too long. Artifact Scythe is an extremely toxic card because if you can summon it on your opponent's standby phase, for example, even Dark Ruler won't save them. A lot of decks can do that with either Baron tagging out or the Branded Trap card, which just came out. Yeah, Scythe getting banned, it, it will definitely make a lot of people happy, that's for sure. Now, Call by the Grave is actually an interesting one because people usually either ask for the card to get banned or go back to 3, kind of similarly to Max C. The only thing is that Call by the Grave isn't really a super unhealthy, extremely broken card. It really is just like an unpredictable and annoying card at 1 because you can't really deck build against or around it. So when you do get hit by Call by the Grave and you only have one hand shop, it actually made your uh, your odds against your opponent even worse, and it really does increase the variance aspect of all those top tier decks. So if you take the game super seriously, you draw only one hand shot because obviously you need to play a few if you want to have a shot at going second. You get hit by Call by, you're really going to be extremely angry because you can't really assume that Call by the Grave will be used against you since it is only at one, whereas if it was a three, for example then you could say, oh, you know what, maybe the odds of drawing Call by the Grave are so high that I'm not even gonna play any of the hand shops that can go to the grave. I'm gonna be playing Gamma, Imperm, and only board breaking cards. And Mystic Mine is also kind of somewhat compared to Maxi as like a necessary evil that either people absolutely love or completely despise. Some people believe that it is a check to combo decks that are way too aggressive and way too degenerate and that as long as Mystic Mine exists, those decks that are really unhealthy have to respect the card and therefore they have to make their deck a little worse in order to deal with it and not deck out. Whereas the majority of people, I want to say, think that Mystic Mine is completely toxic and should not exist whatsoever because it does not promote back and forth interactions. And Anti-Spell is probably the most obvious one here because it is extremely unfair when people can just anti-spell you on game 2 and 3. You, you look at your hand, you have like 5 spell cards, you can't do absolutely anything at all. And even if you weren't even trying to use like your board breakers, for example, your own engine also suffers from anti-spell. Yeah, the card is very ignorant and it's just that kind of card that covers so much ground because everybody has to play spell cards that you don't even have to really think about it too much. You just draw the card and combined with other interruptions, it's even more toxic. There are also some other cards or engines that people either want banned or limited or whatever, such as the Adventure Engine, the Punk Engine, the Branded Fusion Engine, etc. There could also be cards that would be worth unbanning or semi-limiting or unlimiting, and I want to say for the cards that are semi-limited, maybe half of them can go to the unlimit section. Maybe keep Destiny or Malicious because that one's a little different, it's one of the only cards that actually makes sense to be in the semi-limited section, but Pot of Desires being a 2 is kind of sus, so... Might as well unban the card and whatever, I think nobody's gonna complain about it too much. And yeah, usually when Konami unbans cards, they like to do it progressively, so instead of, you know, unbanning a card from 0 to 3, it's like 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and there are still a lot of garbage cards in the banned uh, section, 
and the limited section. That's pretty much all I had to say for this video. What do you guys actually think of this format? And which cards do you think should get hit or should get unbanned or whatever? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.